I've been out here filming the moon and I was filming around the um, the sun as it rose up this morning with my Nikon camera. You see, I've got it setting out. I got the lens on it, but I was filming the moon up there. I've got around 30 minutes, uh, 15 minutes of the moon, probably 15 minutes of the sun. But what was really strange, you all, there was this black crow. As soon as I came outside, it came outside. It flew, it flew over here on this tree. And then I said, you know, you need to go somewhere else. So I don't know where it went. And then it came back. And then I saw it fly on a tree over there. And then I watched it. I said, you need to leave. Hello, good morning. If you're just tuning in, this is really mystical. It's like there's some, there was something to this black crow. As it was flying, when I was finished doing my filming, it flew over there is what it did. And it flew. Hello, Apple Brooks, honey. It flew on, a, on this tree right here. It landed on one branch and as it landed this is really strange it looked like rain like a shower of rain or i don't know a great big shower of pixie dust or something that's the only way i know how to explain it i could see it fall like this it was falling like that when it landed on the branch it was a great big trail that it left behind it i fell like that you ever see that like sprinkle like magic or something down like that and I was looking at it, and then, then it jumped on another branch and took off, and the same thing happened right there. It showered down. I could see it showering down like that, just like that, and I thought, there is no way. There's no way there's that much dust on the tree, and there ain't no leaves on the tree, but the particles were so big that I saw falling when it landed, I saw them coming down like that from that black crow, you all. And then it jumped on another branch. When it took off, it's same thing. It fell down, cascading like showers. You know how you can make that effect? Like fireworks. It's literally what it looked at. And I looked at that because it probably was um, at least, I don't know, nine feet of showers coming underneath its feet. It was a shiny black crow no it was a black crow i'm thinking that was not a norden ordinary black crow landing there and i could just see it showering down like a waterfall and then it flew into the pine trees i know this might sound strange you all but i'm telling you the truth it did because it was watching me the whole time i was out here filming the moon with my nikon it first showed up around here, and I told it, you need to go. And I don't know where it went, but then when I started zooming up on the sun and stuff, it came over there, and I was about finished. And then it flew to here. I didn't see nothing when it flew. Well, it flew past these uh, locust trees through the breath. I thought, good, you're leaving. And then it curved around and went to where that one tree is. It landed in a shower, a shower, like a 10-foot shower of, like, I don't know, something fell. It was very heavy particles. And then when it took off again, it jumped on another branch right there and it took off the same thing. I thought, why am I seeing that? It literally, I'm not, I wouldn't come on here and say that if it did not look like that. It was great big gigantic particles and there's no leaves on there. There's no nothing. Just, just fell down like that. And I know it's, its claws are not that big that it can land and it showers down like that. It was like, it was like, I don't know, from another realm or something like magical or something you love is really strange. I've never seen anything like it. And I'm thinking, am I seeing an illusion? No, I wasn't, I, I saw it fall. It was wide too. It wasn't just one little trickle stream. It was probably two feet, two to three feet in diameter and around 10 feet. And then it disappeared. It totally disappeared like that. Um, uh, yeah. That's okay. I don't feel, I didn't feel no negative energy, so it's not going to be a bad omen for me. It isn't. I've seen a one single crow before on the property. 
But no, I didn't feel no negative energy. I, 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 and if, here's what I say. If you are not of God, if you are not of the light, if when I see anything flying above, you need to leave my property. And if it leaves, and I'm, I'm serious, and if, if it leaves, like that day I came out in the yard, and um, those seven buzzards or something, they appeared out of the blue up above my head. I told them they needed to leave if they were not of the light, and they left. But this one right here, I have one that flies over, and it's I call it Galileo. One single great big bird. Um, it's been here ever since 2018. It comes and goes as it pleases, but I call it Galileo. And it will just keep circling when it hears its name, Galileo. I don't call it Galileo. A Galileo. Um, yeah. You all, I slept so good. I really did. But when in my dream state, my steering wheel was taken away from me. I lacked the ability to drive. I made it to my destination in my dream state. Um, and I was at this building or something, these people I didn't know. There's lots of kinds of people in there. And I wanted to leave. I was just stopping there. They literally took my steering wheel off my vehicle. And I thought, now I can't go. And my husband and somebody else had to push the vehicle over to the side of the road in the grass. I thought, well, I know how to take it off. I can put it back on. I had to leave and go get another steering wheel. With I said, I got some Allen wrenches. I know the tools I need. I go get the steering wheel. I come back. And um, I put it back on. And I'm thinking, somebody, somebody is deliberately jeopardizing me, trying to keep me. They wouldn't say who it was trying to keep me from driving this vehicle and I am gonna find out. I said, I'm gonna put a detection system up everywhere. And they did not like it. These people upon hearing us, they did not like it because they knew who was coming in and do it. I said, I will catch them. I will catch them and they won't be doing it no more. But you literally took my steering wheel so I couldn't drive my vehicle and then I woke up. But anyhow, that I'm talking about the crow, but I'm um, talking about the sun too, you all. I want to talk about the sun, and I really did. I got, I got 15 minutes, 15 minute footage of the moon on my camera, zooming up and stuff. It was really cool. And um, this sun right here, as the sun was like in the sky, this is what I did. You know that circle around the sun that goes like that? Um, I didn't zoom up on the sun, but around the sun. And as I got to a certain um, distance, I could see a blue, a blue glow on one edge of like that great big round thing, a blue glow, a faint blue glow, bl glow. And I would, I could barely zoom it in and out and you could see it. I would do like that with my finger, zoom it in and out. And you could see the blue glow around the edge, not the sun itself. This is the great big ring that gets around it. And then I thought, well, I wonder if it's anywhere else on this great big circle and I, I would move it over to that side. I seen it faintly and then I moved it back to this side and I could see it toward the middle. It's a blue glow around that big old circle thing that's around the sun. You know, when you see that great big massive halo. I did, I like zoom it in and out like that. Blue glow. It's, um, I would say it's like a navy blue or something like that. You know, if you're just tuning in, I saw this black crow and um, I told it I didn't want it around where I was at. A raven, whatever it is, a raven. It's shiny black, so it's a raven. I might have said a crow on here. But a crow had been really big, but this wasn't really big. It was shiny black raven, I guess. I don't know what it was. Blackbird shiny. And it, it flew over there. And then I thought it was going to land on this branch. And it flew between these uh, locust trees. It landed over here on this great big tree by the pond. And when it did, and when it did, I saw heavy debris falling like 10 feet long and around three feet wide. It flew great big particle debris. And I think, there's no dust on that tree because it was all contained in, in one, one thing. It just showered down and then it disappeared. And I'm looking here with my eyes and I'm thinking, what's, what is it doing? 
and then it jumped on the other branch and then it took off and as it did the same thing happened i immediately thought that that bird is not a normal bird that's immediately what i thought when i saw it the debris was so big it's like probably looked like it like that like showers of stars or something falling down i just stood here and i thought wow if i had my camera pointing over there i could have captured it i guess it wasn't meant but i looked at it and then it flew away i don't know where it went but it went somewhere it was the strangest thing um so the leaves are getting on the tree you all and i did i got some good footage of the moon which is pretty cool when I came out, it was completely like centered right here. It's moved a tad bit in the 30 or 40 minutes that have, 40 minutes that I've been outside, but it hasn't changed any. You can see it's still like a half a moon or something. Some people, if you got a newer phone, you can zoom up. But the sun, that great big halo that gets around the sun, um, on the outer edge there was a blue glow. A blue glow. I kept zooming in and out. You had to zoom in. You had to be exactly at the right angle and zoom in perfectly. Just not all the way, just to get the glow from behind it. From behind it, you all. So there's something glowing behind it, you all. And it, it wasn't the whole sky. It was just like a, com, confined to a section is what it was. Video 60, honey. You find something funny this morning with Gina, honey? I'm glad I can make your day and make you smile and cause the happy tears to fall from your face. That's right. So perfectly happy to make you happy. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. That's right. Gina, fix your title. I can't fix it. What's wrong with my title? East Coast, honey. What's it saying on there? Somebody tell me what's wrong with my, <laughs> with my title. <laughs> tell me what's wrong with my title what's it say because i don't even know that's fine gina honey gina honey is so happy to make your morning that's right it's not raven it's just black oh my gosh are you serious ai probably did it to me you all ai did that to me let me see what ai might have done to me you all let me look over here at my laptop I'm gonna bring my laptop outside. Okay, I got my laptop right here. I'm gonna come outside. I'm gonna look at my laptop. I don't know what they said. I promise you I had it fixed. Before I came out here, I had my I had my um, thing fixed. Who need a spiritual cleansing big time? Everybody needs it. Um, what am I supposed to be doing, you all? I gotta fix my title. Okay, I gotta fix it. Let me, let me do my laptop. This is my Surface laptop right here. Can you fix it, Gina? Gosh, you are. This black raven. You look like a raven. Quoth the raven nevermore. Remember that? Edgar Allan Poe. And it wasn't Once Upon a Midnight Dreary, Why I Wandered Weak and Weary. It wasn't that one at all. Um... Okay, I don't know what it says. This this thing better not be updating on me. Now it gave me a pretty... It's the 13th of April. See my shadow on there, you all? I can fix it. Okay, I'm still stuck on the queue, if you didn't know. They said, with respect, with respect to the queue or the black cloud, no one is proposing an early warning system to detect such an entity as disruptive as they would be. If they were to appear, we do not devote resources to protect ourselves from transdimensional beings or black clouds because we constructively do not believe they can exist. So if one does show up, they said they're going to have to change their definition of a life form. Right here, you can find it. The National Library of Medicine. Um, right here. Public Medical Central. Astrobiology. That's a video from last night. I got fixed my title. On here I hope I can log I hope I can log in here and I didn't log myself out of my YouTube channel let me <laughs> oh dear goodness you all let me look what it says I had a 
<laughs> I had a black <laughs> watch me. <laughs> I had a raven, a black raven. R A V E N watching me and I saw something. How's that, you all? I had a black raven. Can we do it, you all? I'm glad to make you all happy this morning because I'm happy. I slept so good. You all, is that better? I had a black raven watching me and I saw something. Uh, Penny, honey, you, you, I can do it. Yes, we can do it, you all. We can do it. I'm okay. Oh, I got push save. I'm going to save it, you all, but it's really, it literally cascaded, cascaded down raven and magic coming down coming down like a shower like a shower let me type it in y'all i'm doing it with on my lap quote the raven nevermore um edgar allen poe raven how to read a bird it was it was a black raven you all or I don't think it was a crow. I don't know what it was. It was just shiny. Okay. It was shiny. I don't know what I should say. I really don't know what I should say with it. Because I don't know my birds. But I, I know that was a black bird. And it was shower. Like around three feet. Around ten feet of shower coming on. It was confined. And it was a big particle debris. If you are just tuning in. It does. That reminds me of the Lord of the Rings um, with those uh, things of Sauron or something, you all. You are you just tuning in? Gina, honey, is happy to make your morning. Happy day. It is a happy day. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be around um, uh, 80. So I've been out here. We got all the yard done yesterday. The mowing, the weed eating. It's the first mowing of our season. But I got I got footage of the moon that I can upload today, which was really nice, zooming up on the moon. Uh, we got the birds trying to get warm up there, and I got around 15 minutes of the 15 minutes of the sun. There is, there's got to be something up there, or you would not have planes flying around trying to cover up what's behind the sun. But I did. I caught a blue glow, a blue glow behind the sun. And is there a planet that is blue up there, you all? Would it make it blue? Um. Here is going to be 85. Um, so, um, the universe, is there a blue planet up there, you all? Because something's going on. It looks peaceful there than in the city. It is. Well, I used to, when I was growing up, I lived in the projects. I live uh, in government housing. It was peaceful, too, because it was peaceful times with neighbors and then we was in the military for around 21 years and moved back here and found this house as a foreclosure with no landscaping nothing except some fruit trees and it's been a lot of work there's a bird a bird yeah so it's really peaceful i love the country i'm, I'm a quiet person um a blue planet a parallel earth, earth. no i never seen it is there a movie? A blue plural, plural, a blue planet, a parallel Earth. Can you hear all the birds, you all? So you saw a black human figure. No, people have been seeing black, black shadowy figures. They've been seeing a lot of them lately, you all. They have. There's a lot going on. Tiamat is blue. Okay, if you're just tuning in, saw a black raven. A raven or a crow it was a black bird and um, it flew over there as I was filming with my Nikon camera right there filming the Sun and it, it flew into that tree and when it landed I saw a shower look like heavy heady heavy um, particles falling around three feet and around ten feet three by ten and I thought, what is that? I know there's not that much dust on that tree, and that bird cannot make all that fall, because I'm sure it doesn't have big claws. And then it jumped to that tree, and when it took off, the same thing happened. I thought, I wonder if I went over there, would I see anything? It literally, it was as big as, 
it looked like it was big as these um, these leaves right here falling on this tree. That's what it looked like. It was big as these leaves, but there's no leaves on that tree. And they were just showering down. It looked magical. It really did. No, it was too big for pollen powder. Way too big. Way too big for a pollen powder. I've never seen a bird do that. Well, I've never been at the right moment at the right time and a, a black bird lands and takes off and something falls. I've never seen it in my life. I haven't. Um, yeah. Yeah. Crows and ravens. And Neptune is blue. Is Neptune here? Um, good morning, you all. If you ain't having a good morning, I hope by the time you get to finish watching this that you are. Even if you come on here, Gina, she don't even know what she's talking about. She makes me laugh. I'm happy I can make you laugh. Especially if you've been grunt grumpy and you ain't had a Nobody to help you laugh. It feels good to laugh regardless it does on the inside you all. So, um, it's okay. It is. Yes. Ah, shadows. Ah. Oh. You saw the human figure walk through you. Walk through you. Walk through your phone cam. Oh, they walk through walls too. They do. These black shadowy figures. And there is something to them. Um, it is what it is. That's right. Um, can I check out Nibiru Marduk, the, um, parallel between Marduk and Nibiru? I don't solely focus on that. I really, I share whatever every now and then, but there's something up there. That's right. You see lights and not darts. So, um, that's what happened. It is. It's, it feels, it's, it just feels, it don't feel normal. <laughs> this doesn't feel normal because it feels so peaceful. And there's been heavy energy, really, to to wake up and feel the peace. I'm, I love it. I really do love it. But it's been, the energy's been so heavy lately. It's been really, really heavy. Yes. Good morning, everybody. Lens of love. I love it. Yeah, I do. So I, I am going to go, you all, but that was a black bird that was out here watching me because I was filming the moon. Zooming up on the moon, it was fine. It left me alone. But when I was zooming up on the sun, the perimeter around the sun, that great big halo, I, you couldn't see it. It's all white up there with my camera. Um, when I was filming around it, I kept getting around the outer circle and there was a blue hue but i had to keep zooming in and out in and out you can see a faint blue hue in one spot and i don't know what's up there there's something behind the sun and when i zoomed up on the little red orbs that are around it if you barely zoom up you can see that there's light coming from the sun that shows up on them like a beam of light it's like it hides them, and then it unhides them, you all, just like that. I kept doing that, too. It was like doing a little scientific experiment, you all. See, you can do a scientific experiment. You think, woman, well, you are just zooming up, zooming up, zooming up. I want to see the shadows on the orbs, the reflections. And how can a reflection, let's think about this, how can a reflection get a shadow on it, really? How can light be cast on a reflection, and you can see it's creating a shadow on it unless that object is up there physically. I don't care if it's a reflection or not. A reflection should not be able to have a light shine on it and have a, like a shadow. It should not happen. But it did happen, you all. Good morning, you all. There's got some magical stuff going on in the sky. That's right. I'm going to go tell the raven nevermore. Quote the raven nevermore. Um, yeah, because that's what happened. I zoomed up on it with my, with my Nikon. And it did. Those red things that you see, red spots around the sun. Just barely zoom up. You see the reflection on the reflection. 
No. <laughs> no, there's some kind of physical objects up there. There is physical entities. So I'm going to go, you all. I am. And um, with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, love you. That's right. Have a wonderful rest of your morning. Thank you, Apple Brooks, honey, you all. That's right. No weapon shall prosper. Love you.